about just another day, but I figured I'd throw the pups in the truck and run the trash down to the dump. And uh, afterwards, I'm going to see what happens. I might just let them run around for a little while. I'm just headed up here today with pups again. Um, nothing big, nothing special going on. Just let them run around a while. Did y'all crash? Huh? Did y'all crash? Did y'all crash? Huh? Don't lick the camera. <laughs> basically walking up the this old creek bed and uh, kind of letting the pups get used to water and running around in it and tossing it. Are y'all crazy or what? Huh? Are y'all crazy? Oh, As they get older, I correct them a little bit more for barking just to bark, but um, they, can, they can kind of get away with it right now. Usually, like I said, the more you have them out and about, uh, they correct that themselves most of the time. Well, I don't know, we're taking probably a two or three mile circle today, and um, then got hot. Had to shed another layer. Crazy, you're all weird stuck up in book, girl. Headed up to a pond and let these pups uh, just mess around in it. Um, I figured out over I don't know, over just the while fooling with them. That, um, if you, basically, if you're in a place or if you're going to be worried about your hounds getting in water eventually, or if it's going to be in some of the hunts, um, you know, or situations that you're going to be in in the future, the best way I've found to introduce pups and stuff to water is, you know, of course, just let them mess around in the creeks and stuff, but then on a good warm day, um, you know, the warmer the better, really. Um, take them up around the old pond or something like that and just just let them and most of the time you won't even have to try to coax them in they'll, they'll end up in there themselves but if the first time they're in a pond um, if it's a good experience the first time they're in the water around the water then usually that sets you up for a lot better situations in the future
you know, if you're in the location or the place and you let your pups get out and run a bit, um, don't, don't be, don't worry too much about them if they get on out from you a little bit, you know, 100 yards, 200 yards, you know, even if they're out of sight, it, if you're in the right location, it, I kind of like for mine to do that sometimes. Um, then it also gives me a chance to work on getting them to come when I holler for them. Uh, that way, when I'm actually trying to hunt and I got all the other hounds around, uh, they ain't somewhere, you know, they don't get away from me and start barking lost, and then I gotta go try to find them while I'm trying to actually hunt. But it just, little things like that cures a lot of problems that you might end up having. Pups found them a coyote den. I found these hair and I've been using it pretty regular. Hey, you better give me my shirt back. Y'all quit. Alright, come on y'all. Come on. Up and head on towards the truck. It's starting to rain a little bit. Not bad yet, but I got a good ways to go. Yeah, this is another thought. I was coming down the ridge. Like I said, I'm headed back towards the truck. But um, I've been noticing another reason I've been in here today with the pups is just look kind of scouting out for turkey sign. But um, I, n I noticed for the last probably two, three ridges that I hadn't found uh, barely any turkey sign. And then the pups come up on that coat, then. But, um, I don't know. It makes you wonder if if he started denning up on the ridge that they're roosting on. You know, did it push them out of here a couple of ridges? Or, you know, really don't know the answer, so it's something interesting to think about. Y'all gotta make it look easy. I was starting to put down the rain a little bit more, but on that same subject, I had to, you'll probably see I had to stop for a long play one, but on that same subject of um, letting the pups just get out a couple hundred yards, you know, at this, when we're just out letting them run, um, you know, I, I've noticed and I've made the mistake in the past that when, when them pups do get in them situations where they're out a couple hundred yards from you and they're, they're barking lost, and then you go get them, uh, a lot of times, you're you almost are making is are making that problem worse. And what I mean is, is it's you're not even mean to, but you're training them dogs that when they get lost or in a pickle or in a spot where they don't know what to do, to just stay in that spot and bark, and then you'll come get them. And uh, I, I know in some situations you gotta do something like that, but if you can um, if you can keep from it, it will solve a lot of problems. Well, I'm not sure exactly how much more I'll get to use the camera. Um, it's starting to rain harder and harder. Still ain't what I call a downpour, but it's starting to put it down. So, anyway, if um, if something happens, I can't talk to you anymore. Uh, get the hounds in the woods as much as possible. Uh, get them exposed to more stuff, and they'll help you out.